Uh, welcome back to the Clinical Nutrition Center patient chart. Uh, we're working our way through the practice management menu. This video is going to take a look at the preferences menu. So let's take a look at that. Uh, again, depending on your user level, you may see slightly different options. Um, but generally, we'll see change my preferences, uh, templates, and themes. So preferences. When you pull that up, you'll just see the preferences for yourself, for the person that's logged in. You could view them or edit them. Let's go ahead and edit those. Um, so here you see um, you're just storing your first name, your last name, your login, uh, your password, uh, your email. Um, list on contact. Uh, that tells the system whether or not to show you as a contact person in the patient portal. So if you're an office staff but you don't want patients to be able to contact you through the portal, you would list that as no. Um, what your display name is for the patient portal. Um, the type of user that you are. So this is where you're establishing your user level. So I'm a medical staff, but you see in our office we have office staff, dietitians, administrators, office management, or therapists. Um, display order you can use if you want to sort. Um, so if you want you know, your name on top and somebody else's name below you, you can put yourself as one and somebody else's two. Uh, this is where you can adjust your digital signature. So digital signature is very, very important. This is how you sign off your notes and it serves as evidence that you are the one that wrote the note. The digital signature gets encrypted after you enter it here. And the CNC patient chart um, has a feature where we'll, where we'll leave it open for you to adjust your digital signatures, but once the system goes live, you can make it so you cannot change the digital signature so that you're locked into the same digital signature for every note. If you change it, it's going to cause chaos because it, it won't recognize um, your old signatures. So really, once you've gone live, you want that digital signature to remain unchanged. Uh, so typically what will happen is uh, everybody's signatures, once they get entered, are going to be locked. And then if you add new users, this will be blank, and then once it gets entered, it's locked. Um, send mail, um, th that's a preference that your staff can choose whether or not they want email notifications if a patient sends them a message. So if you're using this all the time, you don't necessarily need to get an email notification. But if you want to get email notifications, say on evenings or weekends, that you'd received a message, then when the patient sends a message, you'll get an email in your box. It won't contain the message, but it'll just say you've received a message, and you can log in and check in. Um, Co-signatures, this, uh, this is actually pretty handy. So uh, 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 each staff is either going to be non-medical, mid-level, or doctor. And basically everybody above um, you know, the lowest level can sign off on that level. So non-medical staff, that's going to be your, your medical assistants and so on and so forth, they can't sign off on anything. Um, a mid-level can sign off on non-medical staff. So, you know, I should have said non-medical staff also includes RDs. So RDs in our clinic can write notes and they can request a review and a sign-off. And when they do, then either a mid-level or, or a doctor can sign off. So if you have mid-levels in your practice, it's great. They can supervise everybody that's classified as non-medical. And then doctors can, can, can co-sign non-medical notes like RD notes, and they can also co-sign mid-levels notes if the mid-level requests a review of their note. Um, but a mid-level can't co-sign a doctor's note. Um, we have themes. We'll look at that on their next tab. Um, but the theme is just affecting um, some of your screen preferences for colors and highlights and, that, and, and so on and so forth. You can actually create your own color combinations. Um, font size lets you de specify default font size. This feature really we've, we've stopped using very much. I used it in an older version, but some fonts in the, the header section, um, when it generates the patient header, are, are going to be affected by that font size. And slide and header is a feature that, that we're using for computers with smaller screens where instead of displaying the patient header all the time, uh, we display a smaller header with the option to slide in the rest of the header. Um, but right now, we, we've decided just to use the fixed header for all the computers so it looks the same on all the machines. It's a quick look at your preferences, a very important area, but uh, probably not one that you'll use very often after going live with this.
All right, so now we're looking uh, again at templates. So we just went practice management, preferences, templates. Uh, templates are very, very important. So templates are, uh, th this is the table that we're using to generate template text. For example, in the MD and the RD notes, uh, when you click the template button and it gave you all the different template options, it generated that from this table. So if you want to create quick entry, for example, um, my new patient normal physical exam, you know, a, a lot of times uh, a lot of that is the same from patient to patient. And so if you look at that template, um, you can see template display order. So we want this one on the top because I use it a lot. The name of the template, a description, who made it, um, an image. You can make an image uh, for it if you want. So uh, you can see a picture representation, what it looks like. And then this is in our, our editor. Uh, I created a table and um, made my default template. And so that's pretty slick. Remember templates show up here on the templates button in any um, visual text box. And when you click that, you could see these are all the different templates available. Um, so if you make a new template grade or if you edit a template, then you can just click Edit. Um, one interesting issue with the templates is um, these get, get generated and stored in uh, the browser cache. And um, if you go through and change your templates, that might not reflect in your browser unless you refresh the cache. So if you've gone through and been working on your templates and you want them to show up, you do need to go into your browser and use the option to delete the cache, and then it'll regenerate um, your templates. Uh, it also it doesn't regenerate them uh, every time you click the mouse. Um, it will regenerate uh, your templates uh, if you log out and log back in, then it regenerates the templates on your browser. The last thing is themes. Again, uh, we used uh, a lot of the theming features early on in development, but we've kind of settled on a color combination that we like, which is the default combination. And so the themes is a spot, if you don't like the colors, then you can go through and, and modify a lot of the different colors that are used in the CNC patient chart. Um, or you might have a staff that's colorblind or something like that, and you want to assign them, uh, you know, that maybe they're red-green colorblind, and red-green doesn't work well for them. Or maybe the green is too dark for you, or you have an aversion to yellow. So whatever it is, you can actually get in there, and you can either adjust your default theme, or people can select their own theme. So if you want to just look at how a theme looks, um, each of these is a visual color picker. So you can click on it and then click the color that you like. Um, but then each one is named, uh, hopefully with a the name that you have a pretty good idea what it is. Um, uh, and these are the colors that are getting used throughout the chart. For example, everything good is green. If it's a warning, it's red. Um, we have different code for up to six different meal plans. It just goes in order. Um, we have uh, different colors depending on the amount of weight loss, which looks really nice when you're looking at the patient's vital signs. You can see it goes from yellow to orange to, to dark orange. Um, and that's it. Just a uh, quick look at some of the uh, preference uh, options in the CNC patient chart.